even when they had Pat on earlier this week, how do you think the tempo of the offense is going to be? Well, it's a work in progress. We're not, we're not nearly where we need to be, and we shouldn't be. So because it's that, it's early in camp, um, but we got, we got a lot of work to do. Well, first off, we got to figure out um, on the roster, be it those two players or whoever we have, do we have an individual here that can play Y, can be a blocking tight end, can do some things in line after losing the young man they had last year. So, you know, and with Pat being out, so that, that's what we need to see from them. We know, we know Zay is an excellent receiving tight end, and we got to take the next step with a number of those guys. Uh, once we really, we'll know a lot more once we go to practice against the Redskins. We play some preseason games where we're at. Well, we'd love to have J.K. out there. I mean, there's, there's no question about it. Um, and we look forward when he does get out there. I don't control that. What I control is what we do each day on the practice field, and we'll be excited when he gets back. I talk to him every day. I mean, I talk to him every day. Like, I don't know. He has a big smile on his face, and I don't know what else to say. I mean, he's there every day. So when he's out there, we'll, we'll be fired up. He's out there. Realistically, with JK, how far behind is he as far as learning this offense goes? How much catching up is he have to do when he actually gets It's a great question because he hasn't repped. So it's hard for me to know that when he's not out there. It's just the way it is. I mean, He's not out there, so we'll find out when he does get out there. But we're excited. I know I was kind of being a little, you know, smart aleck there. But I'm just saying, in general, when he gets out there, we'll be excited to have him. Oh, I don't know. I mean, think about it. They come out here. Wearing our players' jerseys, I mean, how cool is that, you know? Our players get to live out their dream and get paid for something they were, they've been playing since they were little kids like them. And uh, to me, that's really easy. To me, that, that's not hard. That's easy. That's, that's Todd Munkin at eight years old that was dying to get an autograph and meet his favorite player. And um, that's not hard. That's actually really, really easy. And uh, you wish you could do it for all of them. Well, right now it's not hard to project because we're not really good right now. We've got a long ways to go. Well, there's a certain expectation of the position, right? Whoever's out there, uh, whoever starts for the Ravens, there's an expectation there, whether it is Sala or John, you know, whoever that might be. Uh, I think there's some great competition there. And uh, we look forward again as you keep moving into camp, you get more um, practices and pads, and you go against some other teams, you get a little better, better idea of what you can expect. Uh, it seems like the chemistry between Lamar and Mark Andrews to go off script for the last few years with great success. When you're coming in with a new system, how do you balance not wanting to stifle that, but also wanting to play within the offense within the system? Great question. You don't want to take away creativity a great chemistry that players have, but we've got to continue to improve all of our quarterbacks' ability to check the ball down, to get it to outlets, running backs, getting them more involved, and Mark still being a big part of that. Mark is going to be a big part of what we do as the other players, but we want to, we want to keep that, but also the ability to move on, right? Move on as the pocket breaks down, we can find outlets and get the ball out of his hands. What? Okay, which one do you want me to do? You want me to, you want me to comment on their feeling undervalued? Or you want to comment on like their roles? First of all, I will just say this about any position. And first of all, I'm never going to talk about another man's business. That, that is something they have to take care of. Okay, so, but running backs, in my opinion, are highly valued in this league. The running backs we have are highly valued to me.
I think any player that makes an NFL roster is highly valued. That's a fact. They're one of the best in the world. I don't care. You're 53 to 1. You're one of the best in the world. Elite. Elite. I think they're a valuable commodity on any team. I don't set the market. Our right tackle's valuable. Our kicker's valuable. Our quarterback's valuable. The running backs are valuable. See, I got the first one. You wouldn't let me go, would you? You went, you went to the next one. I was waiting on that one. Now the val Okay, so um, trying to determine with all of your players what you can do to maximize their skill set. What got them here? If you're lucky enough to have an every down running back, that's different. If you have other guys that have certain traits, then you try to utilize that, whether downhill, right between the tackles, Matchup guys are important. Uh, once you get in into that world of guys that can win one on one, I think it's assessing every player that we have on a roster has some unique trait. They just do something, and it's our job to pull it out of them or find what that is that they do. They're already elite, but at a unique level, and then utilize that in your game plan. It looks like from You know, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. I appreciate Mark saying that. Um, it, it, it'll only matter what we do on Sundays, you know, what we do every day. I mean, that's being a pro. Um, I wasn't here in the past, so I can't speak to what it looked like before. Am I appreciative we're locked in? Yes, that's, that's what being a pro is. That, that's a, this is a job. This, this is a job. I don't know how else to say it. I mean, we get to, we get to play a kid's game. But don't make, don't, make, don't make any mistake about it. I mean, we're paid to do a job. And when that ends, so I would take full advantage of that. And I appreciate that they have been attentive, and they, they have been. And they've wanted to, again, embrace the new system, what we're doing. Now we just got to continue to take those next steps because we're not there yet. I think he's a natural run after catch guy. Some guys have more ability that way. Lamar has a unique trait with the ball in his hands. Not every quarterback does. Some guys are more confident. If they played running back as a youngster uh, growing up and then they moved later in life, they have some running skills to them. Uh, tight ends in the NFL that grew up as air raid receivers have route running skills. So sometimes you develop that at a younger age. Vision, uh, once I get the ball in my hands, the ability to make plays. And obviously with his quickness, is he gets rewarded for that. So when I did that, I got stuck in the dirt. Like I tried to make his moves and it didn't work. So then I slid and I got down. So as you do things and you have success, you continue to do that. Well, um, he's got elite speed. I mean, he does have that. So getting him to the edge, um, he has quickness about him. He can be possibly be a matchup player, but he works awfully hard. He's diligent in the meeting rooms, taking good notes, asks good questions. If he doesn't know, he'll let you know. Uh, when we had a miscommunication uh, yesterday in practice, he explained it the way he'd want to explain it. This is what I heard. This is what I thought the quarterback meant, and that is that is great engagement for us to fix it. The communication didn't exist. Quarterback said something. He assumed it was this or thought it was this. And, and that's when a player's dialed in when they're engaged.